Classy, really classy. So refined, um, so well done. Reckon, also, uh, if uh, you're a 20 something and you've got that tattooed on your forearm, DM me, you're probably my type. <laughs>
It reminds me of some of the pianos that, like a Clare Valley style piano where you get this really ripe tropical fruit but great acidity. We come into the actual tasting and it turns out Brendan and Noah are just like, oh, but this wine is, it could, the winemaker could have gone so overboard with it, but they've chosen to be restrained and that what makes it so excellent and so expensive and it's shabbly. I don't care, man. Uh, Pinot Gris? Fuck, who knows? White wine, slight haze, golden hued, platinum hued. Now oh, pretty. Very, very pretty. Really voluptuous. No idea what this is. I really like that. I really like that. Beautiful. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I'm gonna get another 12 of that. Was it worth the calories? Probably not. Um, it's not bad. I think it's Riesling. It doesn't taste anywhere near as sweet. Marvelous back palate acidity that has. I think that could be French too. That's really cool. That is really, really great. Uh, I really love that. I love all the wines here. I'll give it three because of the smell. The smell is really cool. It'd be nice to put in front of someone and just be like, smell this, doesn't taste like it. I liked a lot of these wines. There's some great drinkable stuff. There's some intriguing stuff. There's some, I think it's just a really good lineup. Um, but yeah, definitely some highlights in the whites. Uh, let's see the boys. Oh, hi, welcome back. We have six wines. Fun wines to, to start off the um, start off this week, hey? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was so into these white wines. All of the white wines were fucking awesome. Well, let's let's start with wine number one. We got the the densest sort of richer red <laughs> to kick this off. It tastes yeah. like a hangover. It was it was it was, <laughs> a, it was a tough way to start a tasting. Uh, I, I will definitely admit. What well, have we got? How much we got? Hey, yeah, yeah, midweek yeah. price, and we have Cullen Red Moon. Oh shit! Listen, one of Australia. Cullen, a uh, great uh, wine producer out in WA. Uh, Malbec, Petit Verde, Merlot. That equals like Montepulciano, San Giovanni, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I imagine with a name like Red Moon, this must be obviously because they're big biodynamic producers. Um, well, uh, legends. Cullen, yeah, uh, one of the great uh, viticultural teams in Australia. And I, I wonder if it is like a, a very low sulfur number as well. Probably. Uh, which will give this sort of like developed red um, yeah. skin thing. That yeah, like that kind of, yeah, exactly. Um, Oops, one. Um, moving on to wine number two. Oh boy, this is the Zabibo bad boys. Oh yeah, I love that. I, I love was that. so into this. Yeah, I love that. Man, I kind of got that right. I was just like, it's going to be some weird, complicated European thing that I don't really know the name of. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to drop 30 bucks, so they're another midweek price, and I wanted 12. Uh, 50 and 12, this could be something like all the additional, I reckon. 40 for three, but probably six now that I've put it in the context of being orange wine. What do we got? Oh, wow. Cool. Uh, now that fun midweek price. Ark. Ark. Yeah. Pretty um, label. Four Four Shire in Gipsy. Gippsland. Fuck yeah. Yummy. Really cool. Uh, Riesling, Sav Blanc, Vinegar, and Similion. Viognier. <laughs> Viognier. 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 I'm pretty confident that Ark is the uh, product of um, some amazing sommelier talent. James and Jess. No, James what? Aldas. I'm pretty sure it's James Aldas. Amazing. And you can see, like, this is refinement. Oh. To be, to be, I'll be really sort of honest, the bottle doesn't look like the wine taste. Like, where I see what bottles like that, I think hyper natty, crazy expression, like, kind of like, this could go both ways. Mm, Whereas classy. I find this is classy, classy. really classy. So refined, um, so well done. Okay. Also, if uh, you're a 20-something and you've got that tattooed on your forearm, DM me, you're probably my type. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we're going to move on to the third one, which I thought was a dead ringer for Nero. Uh, and I loved, I loved, loved, loved this wine. I thought this was so good. A lot of whole bunch takes me away from Nero because I've seen Nero with whole bunch of dang good. I was thinking more Gamay. I still wanted six bottles. I'm happy to pay 45 because I reckon it's like a good Adelaide who's Gamay. Uh, 32 bucks and I wanted 12. Uh, 28 and I wanted 12. Mm. What do you got, Lucky? Oh, oh shit. Pricey. Hey! Gamay, nice to die. Gamay, Neil's Gamay. You, you. Grab the, grab the crown, Noah, that's all yours. Uh, you know, the great uh, Akota family. Oh, I feel like I see Amber. these wines behind every bar yeah. in Adelaide. Yeah, hey? 100%. Yeah. Now it's in the hands of Amber and... Uh, uh, Louis doing the winemaking. Louis doing the, the winemaking, help me out. Um, uh, uh, Amber Akota and uh, Taris's father... I think it's Yuri? Yuri? Yeah. his name? Um, they're looking after the winemaking now after Taris passed a few years ago. Um, and they're doing a great job. Oh, uh, it's tasty as hell. I like to taste as hell. I would dominate that. Yeah, yep. pretty easily. I would sub to it anyway. Yeah, yeah. What a what a what a um, crazy wacko wine. I love that. Margaret River Chardonnay. That's exactly what I said. That's <laughs> exactly what I said. It's definitely Chardonnay. Seventy bucks for twelve. All right. Yeah, I like wow. it. I like it. I don't think you and I have been aligned mm. so closely either before. This smells like the sort of Chardonnay I drink at your house. <laughs> How much we got? Yeah. Ninety-five. Yeah. William Graves free. Oh wow! Dude. Yeah. Dude. Wow. 
I really see this level of finesse out of Hill's uh, stuff, except out of the capable hands of Mickey Downer. But this here is like, there's money. There's a lot of money behind this. Money behind this. There's a lot of money behind this. Incredible. This is the product of a bunch of MWs uh, with a lot of money, with all the budget to do everything there, plus a cracking winemaker and a cracking bit of cultural. It's like this. Mm. Is, yeah, the bit of cultural, like the Sean Smith is fucking underrated. Yeah, like dream team. Uh, like if you're if you're of that sort of classical sort of ilk in your wine drinking, you want to see what Pinnacle looks like when it's completely tailored. Uh, these guys put it up against like penfolds really shout out cool. to uh, sometimes always have a cold shower whoever wrote this a uh, slender beauty that has voluptuous curves in all the right places <laughs> all right wine number five. Oh god i could drink so much of this mm -hmm. oh dude you'll yeah. be both because it's so good <laughs> beautiful it's, it's beautiful this is yummy. reminded me a lot of claire valley piano with that like bright pineapple like tropical mm. thing but that quartzy mineral thing mm. it's probably in the brain now because we're bottling some wines at unico and stuff like that I, I wanted 12 for 48 bucks i wanted 12 for flat 40. i thought it was cheap i wanted six for 22. Yeah. Hey. there you go there we go what do we got for 40. Piano oh, Diavolino! He's on point this week. That's, that's now that's two. That's two out of six. Well um, done. Damn, that's actually, honestly, for Piano Diavolino, that is fucking good value. And I drink the absolute shit out of that. Montefeltiano, so like, pretty uh, high altitude, from about like 500 meters above. I've been looking at some like altitude Diavolino. I've been geeking so. out on your dirt. Yeah. That is, that is such a sick. cracking example. That's, that's, that is amazing. It, that's why Fiano has now become really popular in Australia because, you know, when. Like, Mark Lloyd went over there in the 90s and saw that shit. He's like, that's going to fucking work yeah. in Australia. That's why we did it. Perfect really, balance really of cool. texture. Really amazing example of texture. <laughs> and then to round us all out, something with real high acid. And I enjoyed. I loved it. Yeah. This was, my shen this was my shen. This was my shen. Weren't into it? This one. It was all right. Uh, yeah, 12 for 60 bucks for me. I reckon it's probably from Austria. I had 55 and 6. Threes of 38. And for the 38 button. Yeah, just like... Mm -hmm. Shen Wall, too. The Valley de Venom, so... Swan Valley Sinesso, back at it again. Swanny v. Shannon. Swanny v. Shannon. Shannon Blanc! Damn, brother! Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, another reason why I probably caught a fucking wine a lineup for me because it's Shannon. Love Shannon. Wine of the week. Tough. Uh, I think that's, that's That is such a, a, a fucking amazing wine. Show, and it also showcased the hills too. Uh, like iconic producer. We all in agreement there. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, lock it in. Code of barrels. The price of silence, which is what we're going to do for the next six days until you see us back here again next week. <laughs> <laughs>